We are a civil society organisation that's working really hard to plan and prepare properly for constitutional change on the island of Ireland. We are motivated by a shared responsibility to promote dialogue and we are intensifying our efforts and preparations. Bringing people together and creating economic and social opportunity for all of our people, a new Ireland based on social democratic principles, that's what I want to see. Us all being here together, working in partnership, is the way to do this. For me, first and foremost, it's about untapped potential. I fundamentally believe that through partition, our country is not operating to its best possible potential by not reuniting our country and delivering a new, better Ireland. So the big question for me was, is there anything better than what we have now? Is this what we're going to pass on to our children? But I am Irish, and I'm very proud to be Irish. This is truly, I feel it as a completely historic moment. It's the first time in my now very long life that I have felt that we have the opportunity to build a new and different and better and more equal and more fair and more just Ireland. And that is what we are about. The right to be Irish, British or both, and accepted as such, would continue as enshrined in the Good Friday Agreement. So I believe we need to have more events like this and we need to fill them with more voices who will challenge our views and force us to confront uncomfortable realities. I believe we can do this in the years ahead and we can make this a shared dream for a shared island. History is happening now. The challenge is now. The moment is now. And Ireland's future belongs to us all. And we can achieve this new Ireland. We can realise the promise of a better tomorrow. It just feels that there's been a silent majority in this discussion for far too long. That voice needs to be heard. We're ready to have this debate in the public domain, even if at times it seems our politicians are not. I firmly believe that we need to bring this discussion out of the Dáil, out of Stormont, out of Whitehall, out of academic fora, and into the town halls, the village halls, the church halls, the orange halls.